Julian Nagelsmann's agent, Volker Struth, says his client was Chelsea's top choice. Yeah. But Nagelsmann turned them down because there's too much instability at the club. And he didn't like the processes at the club. Jules, well, this was reported before. We've commented on it. But yeah. now we actually have this guy coming out on the oh, record good. and saying it. Yeah, he did a podcast, I think, which I always find. Okay, great. Um, I mean, I think we love Poch. But we also knew that Nagelsmann was the number one choice. I think the relationship between Vivel and Nagelsmann, between even Todd Bowley and, and Volker Struth, uh, was very important in why Nagelsmann was top of the top of the list. Instability... Not important enough for him to come. Yeah, clearly not. <laughs> no. uh, instability, I, I mean... I'm, 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 not, I'm not lost for words, but what does they mean by instability? Because it's a new owner that, okay... Sack the manager after six months or whatever. I it think was or nine maybe months. the word more is uncertainty in the sense that. But what's the uncertainty? So financial sustainability rules, the fact that you've committed six hundred million, and so therefore you're going to be limited in terms of the spending and investment you can you can make going forward. The fact that you have to sell all these players, and maybe he's not sure that they can go ahead and do that. Well, so uh, what? So you looked I think at the squad these... and said that that's not a good squad enough for me, or I'm this is a, this is a hell of a squad. Yeah, you impressed with that? Yeah, you, you, you're big. Yeah, but if someone, if someone would make it work, <laughs> if someone would make it work. Do you know what I mean? I think Lampard was not. Yeah, but he's just like, do I want to make guy. it work if, if I go to training and the 40 guys show up and says, yeah, boss, look at me. Do I want to make it work if, I, I don't know, I don't, maybe it's like I said, maybe he's holding out for the Real Madrid. Yeah, though. maybe. Matteo Aleman is reportedly considering seeing how his contract at Barcelona now and working with likely incoming sporting director Deco. As uh, Jordi Cruyff is leaving the club, we know that it's official. Gab, are you surprised from the U-turn? Because we thought he was joining Aston Villa. Or did he visit Birmingham and thought like, ah, picky blinders. Not I, 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 I don't know. I don't think it's confirmed right now. These are reports saying that he's reconsidering his position. He does have a year left on his contract. Yeah. This whole thing, I, like, I don't have a problem with Deco being an agent. Deco's not just an agent. Deco has players at the club. Rafinha know, is Deco's. Exactly. I mean, this seems like a walking, talking conflict of interest. The fact that Jordi Cruyff is leaving, I think, also tells you yeah. how he feels about which way this is going to go. Yeah. Um, I think Alemany showed that he was good at getting deals done. So if he stays, I think it's good news for Barcelona short term. Um, he only has a year left anyway. Uh, and I don't think necessarily moving to Villa is is his life's ambition, with all due respect yeah, yeah. to Villa, who, of course, won the European Cup back in 1982. Fullerene Balogun has decided to represent the United States rather than England or Ooh. Nigeria. Jules, does this move the needle? I think potentially it can, Gabi, because he's still young, 21. He's had an amazing season in Ligue 1, uh, 19 goals, two assists. It's not just the goals, it's all the maturity that he's, he's showing, but you need to transcript that into international level and World Cup and stuff. What I do think that the US team needs He's a prolific striker like he is. So on that level, he's good. So I hope I hope he moves the needle. Real Madrid beat Getafe last weekend in La Liga. But Gab, could that result really be overturned? Yeah, supposedly what, what obviously what happened was they were going to make a late substitution. Odrio Sola, who never plays, never. was going to come on for Asensio. Then if you remember, Camavinga looked like he was injured. Yeah. And so they kind of stopped everything. And Asensio, um, Asensio came off. Uh, sorry, uh, Asensio stayed on the pitch. Camavinga came off. Uh the problem is, if the substitution's already gone in, you can't then go and change it. So, um, but Hetafe are third bottom right now. Yeah. Um, it's really tight. I, I, I would appeal too. If I was Rama Diddy, said, oh, yes, sure. Give us the 1 0 victory. Because, like I said, finishing second or third really does not matter at all. Granit Xhaka is reportedly negotiating personal terms with Bayer Leverkusen ahead. That's, that would be Chabi Alonso's Chabi Bayer Leverkusen, Leverkusen to you and me. He's staying ahead of a possible 50 million euro move this summer. Um, Joe, he has a year left on his contract. Mark Ogden and I have an Arsenal keep dump piece up where Ogden argues that he should stay and get a one-year extension. Um, obviously, he's been linked with moves before. I guess he's ready to move on. One year yeah. is not going to cut it for him. Yeah, I think so. And I, I th as much as he's loved the season at Arsenal, um, I think maybe he wants a, you know, a new a new. Chapter in his career, going back to Germany, obviously, where he was before, before coming to Arsenal. It's a new contract too. Uh, certainly maybe longer than what Arsenal could offer. He was very close to leaving before and Arteta convinced him to stay. You think Arsenal were just going to give him a one-year extension and that's it? I don't know. What I, I don't know. He's, what, 32 now? I think he's 30, actually. 30? I thought he was a bit older than that. Um, I think he's very important, more for the leadership than really technically within that system 
and I think he, he could be replaced in a way. I mean, it's hard to say because he's sign a left back and play Zinchenko in his position. You you could, but the leadership is the thing that if he was to leave, I would think like okay, Arsenal with he was so important for that. He was like a captain on the pitch, even if he was not really the the club captain. That well, he was the club captain at one point. Was it? Was it? Was he was, and he the wasn't, and then he was vice captain now this season. <laughs> but still, do you know what I mean? And I think that's I think that's the way I would look at it. But if he wants to leave, good luck I, to him, of course. My concern is, I think looking at this conclusion we came as well. We're going to talk about this more, of course, throughout the summer. Is there's a lot of replacements that need to come in because I think you need to add another central midfielder because Georgie has another year because Party dropped off, may have other issues as yeah, well. Yeah. Shaka, uh, you got Lukonga coming back, who I like. And then he's older, I think only has a year left. Yeah, you this is this is an area where they're gonna have to, yeah, of course. Someone I think has to be priority. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think they are focused on, on that very much so. Five Premier League clubs Southampton, Leeds, Leicester, Nottingham Forest, and Burnley have said that they are ready to seek. 300 million dollars in compensation from the league gap for not enforcing its own rules no it says dollars there i think it's actually pounds, oh, it's pounds um okay. i i mean yeah so this has money. to do with the fact that the uh they're under everton are under uh investigation uh for uh, violating the premier league's financial sustainability yeah. rules um as are manchester city of course um part of the problem is here is that let's say you commit the infraction or the alleged infraction, then they need to go and get the nerds and the bean counters in to go and look at the numbers and stuff like that. All this takes a long time. So the punishment comes a long time after. And these guys are saying, well, we're damaged parties in this, right? Um, we're, we're the clubs that have, you know, Burnley relegated last season, these other clubs, Southampton relegated this season. We, we are the affected parties by this misbehavior if you then prove yes, that the misbehavior and yeah, this is yeah. costing us real money now yeah and it'll be interesting to see what happens because this could also foreshadow same thing on a much bigger level involving manchester city if manchester city are found guilty yeah um and again we don't know who they are there's a whole process yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. but it is a three-person panel deciding this all the clubs that didn't win the title the managers who got sacked the european money Quite this is going to be imagine. a much bigger number than 300 yeah, yeah. million that's for sure well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.